Hi, I'm Carrie Sherburn, Senior Editor What They Think, and I'm here with Dan Maurer, who's Vice President of Digital at Heidelberg. Welcome. Hey, Gary, how you been? Good, always good to see you. Good to see you as well, too. So we're here at the InPrint Show, Industrial Printing, with the OmniFire, which you originally showed at Drupus 2016. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about, well, first of all, in case people missed it, what is the OmniFire? Well, you might find that, <laughs> that, what is Heidelberg doing in an industrial print show here? Right. Because right? we're synonymous in commercial print. Right, right. Right? And, but what we have found is that uh, the personalization and decoration market for industrial products is we think that this market is, is tremendous for the future. Mm -hmm. Right? And so as part of that, Heidelberg has a, in a number of new technologies that we brought to the market. We have also introduced the ability of combination of high quality, high resolution UV inkjet okay. combined with high precision robotics. Okay. Many of the uh, machines that have been in this industry uh, historically have been geared towards one specific type of a product mm -hmm. in a manufacturing line. They haven't really been able to do the versatility of a variety of objects. Okay. And that's really what the one of the uh, the main benefits of the OmniFire. Because you can put any any object in there up to up on the on the OmniFire 250, mm -hmm. we can do any object that is spherical or cylindrical, up to 12 inches, and on the OmniFire 1000, which we showed at Imprint in Milan, Italy, mm -hmm. that has the ability to do any object of any three-dimensional shape up to 39 inches. And that was what you had at Drupa because you were printing on hockey sticks, I remember. Yeah, we yeah. showed at Drupa, we actually showed the objects, uh -huh. but at Drupa we had the OmniFire 250. Oh, you did. Okay. The thing that's great about the technology is also scalable. Mm -hmm. So we can envision someday that that we could be printing on airplanes and cars and these oh, type of things. Oh, wow. Oh, that's pretty amazing. So so how long has it been commercially available? Uh, we've been into the market for about 24 months with the OmniFire 250. Mm -hmm. The, uh, the OmniFire 1000 is just about to go to beta this spring, okay. and then it will be available commercially in the fall. And where do you see the 250s going? What types of businesses? Uh, we find a, um, uh, a lot of promotional companies are mm -hmm. interested in them, and sporting good companies, uh, specifically mm -hmm. around anything that you want to imagine they want to personalize soccer balls and basketballs, baseball mm -hmm. equipment, and these type of things. Are you seeing any uptake at all in the commercial print market? Yes, we are. So the tell me a little bit about that. The commercial print market is extremely healthy right uh -huh. now. Uh, we, as you know, we launched our push to stop XL 106 mm -hmm. that does make readies in five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, the, that the product line has been outstanding for us. But but the OmniFire in terms of oh, the OmniFire. it's interesting, fan. Yeah, specifically with the OmniFire. Um, with the OmniFire, it, it initially. Um, it's a little bit different for commercial printers. Mm -hmm. So, but for some of our commercial printers that operate in a promotional side of the business, mm -hmm. then they find they are finding interest. But the thing that's really exciting about the OmniFire is we are working with a base of customers that are completely different outside of the the industry mm -hmm. from uh, in our traditional customer base. So, if a commercial printer wanted to partner with somebody who has an OmniFire, who should they call? Yeah. <laughs> so, in the what we are doing with the OmniFire in the U.S. There are a number of customers that may not have the volume to actually justify a machine. Mm -hmm. But what we are setting up is we are setting up what we call 4D for me. Okay. Four dimensional printing for okay. me. And they will be hubs. And they will actually be around the world. Mm -hmm. And that these hubs will print for these type of people that may not have the volume to justify their own machine. But we can network them together and provide them that kind of service. And is there a particular website they can go to? or? Uh, yeah, it's 4d-forme.com. As the four, four, the number four D dash for and the, me. the word four. Yeah, uh, no, the letter, the letter the four, four me, me dot com. com. Four D dash four me, me dot com. com. I'm going to go there myself. So, Thank you. Appreciate it.